Hello there, this is Holly from Let's Plan, making a quick video to show you how you would download your GoodNotes sticker book and how you would take some of those stickers and add them into your digital planner. So let's get started. You're going to click on Access the GoodNotes sticker book. This is going to take us to Dropbox. Now you do not need to have a Dropbox account or the app to download any of my products. Um, depending on what internet browser you are in, you may get different pop-ups. One that commonly pops up is go to dropbox.com. If you get that one, go ahead and click on it. If you get other ones asking you to sign up, just close them out of your way and ignore them. So here we are on this page. It says GoodNotes files can't currently be previewed. Don't let that throw you. I do sometimes get messages from customers thinking there's something wrong. It's not. It's because we're in Dropbox and the file we're downloading is a GoodNotes file. So don't let that throw you. What we're doing is just clicking the download up here in the left. We're going to get a pop-up window that asks us to confirm our download. Because I'm in Safari, my pop-up window is in the middle. If you're in the Chrome browser, yours will be down here at the bottom. Just look for the blue download word here and just click on it again and it'll download. So up here on the iPad, you can see this blue bar working. It only takes a minute here and then when that arrow jumps, that means the file is already downloaded. That's it. We're not opening it. We're not doing anything else in Dropbox. We are closing it. We are going over to our GoodNotes app. We're going to go back to the main page so we can import import the planner. So get to your main page and of course it doesn't want to do it quickly for me. This is the main page in my GoodNotes app. You're going to go to the empty rectangle with the plus in it. Click on that. Go down to import and we need to find the file that we just downloaded. So mine just came up because I'm in my recents right here. If you get to this point and you cannot find your file, it will say GoodNotes like this one says budget um, stickers, it's kind of abbreviated there. If you can't find your file, click this blue button here that says browse. It will take you back to this page. You might have to click it a couple times depending on what um, page you were on. And you may have stored it in your iCloud, on your iPad. Um, it wouldn't be in, it could be in your downloads. I usually just go to recents and then I can find my, my currently downloaded items. So I'm going to click on this. It's going to upload it and import it right into my GoodNotes app. This just takes a minute here. Once it's done, it will open up quickly on your page and then I can show you how we go ahead and copy and paste. So here it comes. So this is the front cover. Um, when you're using it here, you just slide over. This is going to take you to the hyperlinked index page. So if you wanted to get to decorative stickers, you'd go ahead and tap on, oh, I'm in the editing mode here in GoodNotes. You do have to have it in the read-only mode to get use your hyperlinks. So here's our decorative one. Just go ahead and tap again, and it's going to take you to the decorative sticker pages. Now, um, because there are a lot of stickers in this book, and they are in PNG files, they do take a while to load sometimes. So if you jump to a page and the the page is white, just give it like, you know, a few seconds and then it'll pop open for you. So you can go through all these labels here are um, hyperlinks. So if you want to go to the gray labels like this, this one's taking a second to load because we just loaded the sticker book into our app. But here's all the gray ones. Same thing, you would just jump around, you find the stickers that you want. So the way you would move these easily within your um, GoodNotes app is you would go to a planner. So up here at the top, I have the budget planner open. So here's my blank plan planner that I want to add one of those stickers in. So I'm going to go back to the sticker book. I'm going to turn on my editing mode so that this toolbar drops by, down. I'm going to click on the lasso tool, which is this little dotted rope. And then I'm going to just draw a small circle on the label I want to put in my planner. So I want to use this one, pay rent. So I'm going to draw a little circle. I hold down for a second, give it a second, and then this bar pops up. Click pop, copy, then go back to your planner, hold your pen down and hit paste. And that's it, that's how easy it is. So you can um, go through and then you can resize this or you can go back and forth, get a bunch of them and resize them all at once. If you wanna get it precise, you can always expand your planner and shrink it back down once you get it right where you want it. So that's how easy it is. Then you can just jump back and forth from your sticker book, go to different sections. Um, if you're, do, you do have to do your edit, uh, read only mode and your editing mode. Um, just go to different sections. You can scroll through down at the bottom here. When there's a second page of that type of sticker in that category, I just have the word swipe here. It's not hyperlinked, so you will just have to swipe over just like you would like with anything in um, an iPad here. So you could just swipe over. If you don't want to use the hyperlinks, you can even just get through the book 
like this. Just keep going with your finger and just give it a second to load each time. But then it would just take you through the book and you can just browse through it at one time without using the hyperlinks. So that's how easy it is. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me on Etsy. I'm always available for my customers. Thank you for your purchase.